How's it going guys? Derek Craig here with oilfieldbasics.com and today we're going to be covering the topic of blowout preventers. Now this is a pretty big topic in and of itself and we're going to split it up into a couple of different video blogs. So this is going to be the first one probably of about three and this one is going to be covering the definition and basic functions that blowout preventers serve within our industry. So before we dive into what BOPs are and how they function, I want to remind you guys to check out our courses at oilfieldbasics.com learn to continue learning the basics across our industry. And, th and this will help tie everything together in logical progression for you. You know, it's going to be covering drilling completion methods and it's going to be covering the tools and the technologies and the design of, of what we do. And it's going to put everything into context that you hear about in these video blogs. So check that out and also be sure to follow us on our social media, like and comment on this video, subscribe to our channel and also check out our Facebook, LinkedIn and um, Instagram profiles as well and be sure to follow us there. All right, so diving right into the definition of what a BOP or blowout preventer is. It's basically a mechanical device that's going to be used to stop or prevent the uncontrolled release of fluids at surface. And this is what we would call a blowout. So that's what we're trying to prevent. And this is a mechanical device that lets us do it. And it's going to be comprised of a series of valves that help us to isolate and seal off our well in various ways. And we're going to talk about that in another video, uh, which is going to be about the types of BOPs or type of valves on the BOPs. And this is also going to be used to protect life and environment and equipment, all of which are very important things that we are trying to protect and conserve during our operations. And also note that this is going to be found all across our industry, especially on drilling rigs. It's going to be on every single, every single rig is going to be equipped with a blowout preventer. And it's going to be right below the rig floor and above the wellhead. And this is going to be used to isolate any pressure or kicks or anything that we could see that would lead to a blowout. You're also going to find this on completion equipment, when, especially when you're trying, basically anytime you're trying to isolate wall bore pressure from atmosphere. So now let's try to look at a quick diagram of this. And excuse my drawing, I'm no artist, but this is basically just to get the point across. So here we have cased hole that we've already drilled, and then our drill bit down here, that's the green, and then our drill string heading towards surface where it's connected to the rig. You can see where our drill bit is on bottom when we're drilling a section of open hole. Now, typically the entire time you're circulating drilling mud or fluid up through, down through the drill string, out the bit, and then up the annulus to the surface. And what can happen is say we're drilling and all of a sudden we're getting kicks or fluid from the formation, whether it's oil or gas, whatever be the case, is entering into the well bore. And then it's gonna to wanna to travel up because it's lighter and especially if this is gas, we're gonna see a, a big issue here. Your pressures are quickly gonna increase and that's what we're trying to prevent. So when you've got drill string going through an open hole, you've got to have a way of closing that off. And this is where a BOP comes in handy. So a BOP is basically going to be able to form that seal between whatever is in that well. It's going to make sure that we can seal the well at any point. And that is a BOP. So now let's begin to look at some of the specific functions of a BOP. First off being that it's used as a secondary barrier. So your first barrier is going to be your drilling mud, which applies the hydrostatic pressure to the formation, which help keep those trapped hydrocarbons at bay so that they're not coming into the, for, into the well bore but if it happens this is going to be our secondary barrier so we want to make sure that we have sec two barriers at all times during our operations for maximum safety at least two barriers also um, it's going to be used if we see signs of a kick so if we see signs that we have taken perhaps an influx and that hydrocarbons are traveling towards the surface then we can utilize the BOP and shut in the well and, and then respond accordingly to protocol also, again, the basic function is going to be able to seal around the pipe and also maybe even cut the pipe if you need it. And there's different types of valves and that'll be in the other video I was talking about. Also, it's going to be able to provide a mean to isolate and kill the well or control the kick. So once we have a kick in the well bore, we also are going to be able to pump down and into the well, circulate it out, whatever be the case, it's going to provide us a means to do that. So it's going to be able to allow us to isolate the pressure and also take care of the pressure, circulate it out, whatever be the case. Also, it's going to be able to help us to stop or prevent the work string from exiting the hole. So this is more so uh, a larger issue when you're talking about workover operations and you're working on a, a live well, basically, uh, where you can have that your pipe light, and if, if your pipe is lighter than the, basically the pressure exerting upwards on it from the formation or the kick, whatever you're taking, you can actually blow the pipe out of the hole. So again, this is a way to seal around the pipe and it's also going to hold it in place. So that's going to wrap up the short quick video about the basic definition and functions of a BOP. And again, we're going to cover much more in the following videos. So be sure to watch out for those. And I'll have them linked here on the screen where you can click them. Be sure to check them out. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.